she was the love of my life. At age 74, Sam Elliott confirms rumors of decades. There's no doubt about it, Sam Elliott is unforgettable. With a deep, rich voice that commands attention and striking good looks, he's won the hearts of both male and female Hollywood fans. His talent and natural charm set him apart from other actors of his time, and his name will forever be remembered as one of the unique talents in Hollywood history. While he might not be as well-known as some other Hollywood megastars, his accomplishments and appeal on and off-screen make him deserving of a spot in the Hall of Fame. He's had an illustrious career spanning 50 years, during which he took on many prominent roles. A Son Disobeys His Father Sam Elliott, born in 1944 in California, had a serene childhood. His mother was a high school teacher and fitness instructor, while his father worked for the government. As an animal control specialist, Sam's dad often took him to work with him in nature. At first, Elliot received guidance from his father about getting a college degree, which would lead to a more traditional career path. However, he intuitively felt that being an actor was what he was meant to do deep down. When Sam finally confessed his dream to be an actor, even though at first his father thought he was too young and it wasn't just a phase, he eventually realized that this is what Sam wanted to do for the rest of his life. This created a lifelong conflict between them because they never agreed on an acting career. Their relationship became permanently damaged after Sam rose to success. Some actions cannot be undone, no matter how much you may want to. Sam's dad tragically passed away from a heart attack when Sam was just entering puberty. Although this event happened during a confusing and transitional time in his life, it inspired him to pursue acting, his dream profession. He promptly withdrew from college and took up acting full-time. Is there such a thing as beginner's luck? The first time Sam Elliott was publicly recognized for his acting abilities was when a local newspaper praised his performance in a production of Guys and Dolls. The article stated that he should pursue acting as a career. This was the first time Sam had ever appeared on stage, and given that he was also dealing with college and disapproval from his father, the encouragement from the review meant a lot to him. Struggling to keep up Sam's artistic career didn't start off as smoothly as he had hoped. He knew that, like most other artists, he'd have to take a day job until he got the recognition and success he deserved. However, surprisingly enough, Sam's choice to enter construction greatly benefited his acting career. This is because most of the popular roles he gave were for strong male characters who portrayed toughness and spent time outdoors, characteristics which aligned well with Sam's own personality type. An Ascendant Talent Sam's career in Hollywood took off after he quickly landed several roles. His talent was undeniable, and it didn't take long for him to become one of the most promising actors of his generation. Of course, his humble beginnings didn't guarantee success, but they certainly helped him reach the level of fame and fortune he enjoys today. Sam's First Time on the Big Screen Although Sam Elliott's first big movie role was technically a small one, it led to him becoming an overwhelmingly well-loved actor during his time. This fateful role was in the classic Robert Redford, Paul Newman film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Even though his character didn't have a name, this ended up being one of the most beneficial films as millions of people watched it. Who would have thought that two lead actors in a movie could end up married, especially when they didn't even share any scenes? But that's exactly what happened with Catherine Ross and Sam Elliott. They met nearly 10 years after making the film and got married in 1994. Itching His Way Toward Success TV gave Sam Elliott the platform to improve his skills and earn a steady income from acting, especially at this point in his career. Despite making a name for himself on television, he never stopped auditioning for movie roles. His dream always pushed him towards movies, and he eventually landed a few supporting roles on the silver screen. Sam's role in Mission Impossible was important, but he didn't become a household name until later when he played the title role of Evil Knievel. Elliot starred in Once an Eagle from 1976 to 1977, which gave him significant exposure. The Search for True Love In 1978, Sam Elliott's career was skyrocketing. Then he got the chance to work with his former co-star, Catherine Ross, in a horror movie called The Legacy. Not only did this add to his wealth and fame, but it allowed him to find true love. 
This film will always hold a special place in Elliot's heart because of what it brought into his life, the love of his life. A Crush It didn't become clear until later, but Sam Elliott fell for Catherine Ross the instant he saw her on the set of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in 1969. Sam appeared so cool and confident that nobody would have guessed he was holding on to a secret like this. Even though it wasn't consistent with his character, it definitely was sweet. Sam finally mustered up the courage to tell Catherine how he felt, admitting that shyness stopped him from talking to her when they first met. He reasoned that she was the female lead and he was just an unrecognizable background actor. A Love Story for the Ages of course, the ever-so-dashing actor eventually won over Catherine's heart. It would be surprising if any woman could resist his kind and straightforward personality, rugged good looks, iconic mustache, and deep voice. But in an interview, Catherine said that while those might be some of the reasons why she fell in love, there's a lot more to him that people don't know. A Relationship Full of Controversy like many other celebrity pairings, the two passed through several obstacles right after letting the world know they were officially dating. During their relationship, Catherine was married to a movie set technician named Gaetano Lissi. Despite her statement to the contrary, people at the time still saw her abrupt transformation into a new relationship as a scandalous thing to do. An Undesirable Prestige The news media were all over Catherine and Sam when they got famous for their romance. Everyone wanted to know all about their relationship. The so-called mooning scene in The Legacy did nothing to decrease the media saturation. It received so much publicity that the two received prime coverage on Playgirl magazine covers as Hollywood's sexiest couple in October 1979. At this point, all hope for an enjoyable personal life was erased, and Sam was miserable. The actor wanted to be known for his talent and work ethic, not because of a so-called controversial relationship. Officially Got Married Sam and Catherine spent six years together before finally marrying each other. Catherine was the more experienced of the two, as she would already been tied down multiple times. Elliot, on the other hand, was as inexperienced as it gets, having never been married before. To everyone's surprise, their passion was so strong that they created one of the most successful and intimate relationships that surprised the entire world. It didn't take much time for Catherine to become pregnant with their first child, Cleo Rose Elliot the same year they'd gotten married. A Chance Ignored in the Name of Beloved Sam Elliott could have sealed his name into Hollywood filmmaking history had he agreed to a possible role that demanded over 10 days of work. Elliott would have been involved in an appearance alongside singer and Oscar-winning actress Cher in the film titled Mask. Instead, he was cast as a comical with a heart of gold character romantically entwined with Cher. Why on earth did he deny it? He was on honeymoon with his wife Catherine when his agent notified him of the opportunity, and Sam had to say no. Supportive Partner Fortunately, Catherine was not the type of wife who required for herself all the attention. She wanted Sam to be the best that he could be and pursue the career of his dreams. So the minute the mere mention of the screening was made, Catherine went straight to her manager and told him that Sam would catch the next flight to New York for the screening. Cher, who was at the height of her career then, did not outshine Sam. In fact, he was able to take a good number of scenes, making it a box office hit. Every major Los Angeles outlet wrote about the remarkable portrayal of the empathetic biker Gar by Elliot. He drew the same praise that Cher and Eric Stoltz did. He was the cowboy in the industry. Sam Elliott was among the greatest and most flexible entertainers of his era. But his greatest performances, which aligned with his persona the most, were in the Western genre. Sam's most prominent Westerns comprised Tombstone, The High Low Country, The Quick and the Dead, The Desperate Trail, and You Know My Name. In 2007, he was awarded by the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, allowing him to enter its hall of great Western performers. The Reason Behind Sam's Powerful Work Philosophy Sam Elliott is only one of a small handful of entertainment stars with a voice that combines elements of rugged outdoors and fantastic talent. Sam revealed that the key to his success was his upbringing, which emphasized the importance of being hardworking and being outdoors. When asked about his childhood, he explained that it was hectic when everyone was out and about dealing outside due to his parents' hardworking, outdoorsy natures. Sam's Voice 
Sam's remarkably unique baritone voice has also scored him many narrations and voiceover gigs. Even his fellow star in The Ranch, Ashton Kutcher, stated that he wanted him to narrate the whole movie. A Long Career in Showbiz Sam Elliott's been pursuing his career for as long as we can remember. His secret? Be very picky about the roles you take on. Well, that advice has worked out for him. As a result, he's survived and prospered in the film industry in old age. Sam wanted to become a professional actor since he was nine years old, and the only way to ensure a lucrative career was to be around and keep his integrity so he wouldn't dwindle in the industry. A Big Hit – The Big Lebowski Sam got down to a place of ambition where he inspired screenwriters to write parts with him in mind. As a result, the writer-director duo, the Coen brothers, used numerous identical script breakdowns, such as, the voiceover sounds somewhat like that old man, Sam Elliott, or like an old western store looking like that bro, Sam Elliott. The actors proved that it's possible to make yourself conspicuous even while playing a small part, for instance, Sam's role in the Coen brothers film, The Big Lebowski. Family Nightmare no fame, money, or success can protect you from family drama. Even famous individuals can't escape family problems. Sometimes, even when our homes are full of love and respect, conflicts can't happen. And sometimes they turn into a nightmare. For example, Sam and Catherine's only child, Cleo, who was 26 years old, tried to stab her mother, Catherine. Fixing the Issues while the mother and daughter were able to settle their dispute, the family did not show up at a restraining order extension hearing. The case went uncontested, and the family returned to regular life. Since then, they've been able to repair their strained relationships. The man known for his iconic mustache Other than his looks, mannerisms, and aptitude, what made Sam Elliott so iconic was his iconic mustache. Even as he was repeatedly asked to shave it off for movie roles in the 1960s and 70s, Elliot staunchly refused and always wore the mustache. His mustache became so iconic that it's a part of the International Mustache Hall of Fame. Sam can do pretty much everything. Sam Elliott's career in the entertainment industry is an outstanding illustration of what passion can do. Not least of it is that he did his fair share of work in front of the camera but he also tried his abilities in writing, production, and vocal performance. 